Hey again, YouTube, Nutjob with Machete, back with another review for you. Um, I look a little bit different, I know, wearing the hat and the jacket. We're out on the farm, and the sun is just hitting my eyes perfectly to make me squint, so you guys get to deal with me with the hat this time. And uh, it's a new white wall behind me. Instead, we're standing in front of the Quonset hut. So, today, by the way, you might be noticing that I've got a, uh, a new jacket. That's because today's episode is brought to you by Two French Guys Contracting. Two French guys contracting. Bank Alice, she did a call, Marteau. It's also brought to you by the Schmidt Farm. No, I said the Schmidt Farm. Um, we're out on the farm, on the Schmidt Farm, and what I've got today is a product from Condor. Uh, this is their bush tool, and if I get the name wrong, I'll fix it and put it right here. Uh, what this is, is kind of like a combination of a hatchet and a bill hook, sort of all in one. Um, I'll put the specs and everything below so I don't have to remember them, but I can tell you that it's made out of, uh, it's a high carbon stainless steel. Now, let's take a look at the whole thing, and then we'll take a look at the blade. So here's the sheath, I'll come a little bit closer for you. So, Condor always does a really good job on their sheaths. They're nice leather. Um, they tend to be double stitched on the seams, riveted, and what I like is this. The uh, dangle allows this thing to actually rotate. And what that means, we'll go back here, and oh, like I said, I'm in front of the Quonset hut. When it's on my belt, it can actually swing out of the way. You guys are sitting in the back of a Ranger, so when I'm driving the Ranger around, I can actually just swivel this thing out of the way. Now, I do have a tiny little issue with it. Um, getting the tool out of it is a little difficult until you finally work the leather. So basically when you get this, um, remember how you used to treat your old sheaths or even your, you know, uh, baseball mitt? Do that to this so that you can get the tool out fairly easily. Give a wiggle and the tool will come out. And that's just the interior of the sheath. So this is the tool. I have the condor of course. And this is made out of 420 high carbon stainless steel. As you can see, I've been kind of putting it through its paces and I'll show you videos of that in just a little bit. Um, what it's got is this single straight edge, which again, I'll put the specs and everything below, um, but I discovered it is at a uh, 25 degree angle, so it's kind of nice. It'll split lumber if you need it. It chops really well. And on the back side, same angle on this, on the beak, uh, but this acts like a bill hook. You can use it as a, you know, like if you need to prune something or anything like that. I was using it on branches, and then I decided to test to see if, say, I wanted to take this as almost an all-in-one tool. If I wanted to take it into the bush, could I make a debris bed with grasses or anything like that? And yes, actually, you can. Now, they have a coating on there, and again, I'll put the names and specs and the whole kit and caboodle down. Um, the handle is a Santo Propylene handle, so it's nice hard plastic, and then they give you a generous lanyard hole. A um, couple of things about it that I did notice, because it's not super heavy, you might be using a lot of force if you're trying to chop through anything fairly large. Um, uh, also, if you're chopping through dense wood, like most of the wood that I've been chopping today, off in that direction obviously, uh, most of the wood was maple. Now, I don't necessarily think that this was designed for hardwoods like maple, but it handled the maple just fine. But when I was hitting into it, the shock was transferring up the handle. I think I even mentioned that in the uh, test footage. So I'm probably going to wrap this with some sort of shock guard or Yonix wrap or something like that, just so that the shock doesn't transfer through as much. Now, I actually like this thing for a couple of reasons. Besides the fact that it tries to do all in one, um, it doesn't necessarily come perfect, but it comes really, really good. The all in one uses for it, I mean, well, you know what? Why don't we go to the test footage, and then I'll come back and I'll talk about the, uh, the the upsides and the downsides of it. So let's go to that.
Bad stump. Bad stump. Well, I mean, as you can see, uh, I mean, it splits lumber uh, fairly well. And what I actually discovered was burying this section of the billhook beak into the wood and giving it a twist um, actually split most of the lumber fairly well. Now, what I did find is if you're trying to do big pieces, um, obviously the shock transfer is one thing, um, but also the big pieces, this doesn't weigh quite enough to bury into it. So that's one thing to watch out for. Uh, I do like this thing. It, it's actually pretty cool. Um, the price point is, it's about $70. That's the cheapest that I found in Canada. And I'll put where I recommend getting it from down below. Um, now, for $70, it, that, to me, that's a little bit high. This would be a little bit better right around $50 or something like that because it does its job well but it's not perfect. Uh, a straight edge is fine. Um, I almost would like to see a bit more of a curved edge on this. Um, well Condor actually has another tool and I might pick it up at some point or I might not and that tool is I think it's called their Woods Pal or their Woods Pro. Again if I screwed up the name I'll fix it and put it here. Um, and it is basically a much longer version of this with a, a better axe face on it and then a longer blade. Now, I, I would like to see on this thing a little bit more of a, a curved blade. Not much. It, it doesn't have to be super curved. But I would like to see that just because on those larger pieces, if I have to use this, that'll bite into the wood a little bit better. It's held the edge actually fairly well, and I'm kind of impressed with that. Now, I'm not going to do a paper test because, well, why? <laughs> but as you saw on the tests and as you saw on, um, you know, all the splitting and chopping, the edge on this should be fairly beat up. Like I said, it was maple that I was chopping up. Some of it was a little punky, and then the rest of it was pretty damn tough maple. And I got to admit, the edge on this thing has held up actually fairly well. It's almost still at the same level that I sharpened it up to. Now, same thing on the belly back here, on the back edge, on the beak. It's still pretty sharp. And what I liked was not only could I use it for chopping and splitting and everything, but again, this beak buried it into that one piece of lumber and then just pulled it out. It makes it pretty handy. So, I mean, adding something like this to your bug out bag or your survival kit um, could actually be pretty handy because you could use this and actually cut down on either the number of items you're bringing or the total weight. This could take the place of a hatchet. Um, like I said, it will probably go in my winter kit um, because it can help me gather grasses or anything like that for debris bed or anything along those lines. Um, and it actually is... It is pretty cool overall. Uh, like I said, a couple little things I'd like to see. I'd like to see a bit more of a belly on this. But, it, but that other tool that I mentioned, whatever the name is, we'll put the name again here. Um, that seems to be what Condor uh, wanted with it. So this thing, really good. Um, it definitely has its uses. It definitely is really cool. And I do love Condor's work high quality, a little higher in the price, um, but overall this is actually a pretty cool little tool. Now I think if you are interested in picking up something like this, maybe try and find it for a good price, um, because like I said, I found it for around $70 and that was the cheapest I found it in Canada. Um, so if you maybe found it at a better price point, that's awesome, hey share below so that the rest of us can you know, actually find one and maybe save a, a couple of bucks. Well, that's about it, guys. I mean, I can't really add anything else to a review of, you know, it's a really handy tool. It's a pretty good tool, and it's actually going to go into my winter survival kit. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. As always, if you like videos like this, please feel free to click like. Feel free to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And as always, feel free to share this video as much as you want. And until next time, guys, I'm Nutjob with a Machete, 
with a handy little tool. Stay sharp.